What is going on guys? So today we're checking out the Rocat Torch. This is their studio grade USB microphone designed for gaming and for streaming. And it's got some really cool tricks up its sleeve. But before we jump into the details on this guy, if you don't know who I am, my name is J-Dub and I'm here to help you guys make a better tech buying decision. Now, if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest reviews. Now, with that said, let's check it out. So now as we typically do, let's talk about the design really quick. It is a very unique looking microphone. Rocat definitely did a kind of a sleeker design, standard looking kind of um, great over the front, right? It gives it that microphone feel, but it's not as simp is, is what you would expect and what you would see in a lot of other ones. It definitely has a very unique look to it. It's got kind of a uh, geometric looking kind of shape, which is really unique. It's very skinny as opposed to kind of a circular round tubular design. Um, it's got a really nice base. Now the base is really cool. I love having these tactile controls. So having the ability to change the pattern on the fly right there on the base unit, be able to mute, adjust your in game, you know, your actual PC volume, as well as your gain with a slider knob. Um, there's just, there's so many things that they've done right on this microphone. It's really, really nice. You also get uh, a headphone jack in the back so you can plug into it. So you can plug your, you could use this kind of as your sound driver and, and kind of control all of your audio that way, which is great. So from a design perspective, from an aesthetic perspective, this is a very clean looking microphone and, and Rocat makes really beautiful looking products and this is no exception. Now, when it comes to features, there's a lot going on here. So this is a 24-bit audio, 48 hertz sampling rate uh, microphone. So this is a very high quality microphone. It puts out some very good quality and we'll do some testing here in just a little bit. Um, on top of that, again, we already talked about it a little bit and I've already, you've already seen it, the controls, are awesome. I think the tactical controls are really, really nice. Plus with the LEDs and the heads up displays and all that stuff, very, very well done there. I really like the kind of the, the sliders and the knobs. They've just done a really good job with that, making things, making you able to adjust everything on the fly. Very, very simple. Okay. LEDs, obviously, if you like RGB lighting, very, very clean, looks really nice. I also like their mute options, right? They do have a push button mute where you can click down on the um, the volume knob. It's actually a mute button, but then there's this kind of swipe sensor over the top. Now, I want to talk about that for just one quick second because that is kind of a pro and a con. I've experienced a little bit of a problematic space with that, right? So even at its maximum setting, so it's less least sensitive setting, um, I accidentally bump that a little bit. I kind of move my, if you know, if I move my hands or it kind of around there, if I'm reaching over to turn my monitor on, it's too close and it picks it up, it'll mute and unmute. It's kind of a weird thing. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of that. I've almost would have preferred, a, a, you know, maybe just like a gentle touch or having to get very, very close to the top of the microphone. Um, I feel like it's just, it's a little bit too sensitive, even in its least sensitive setting. So that's something I should mention as well. Now, when it comes to patterns, this one doesn't have all of the patterns you're going to find on a lot of other microphones, right? So it's going to have a cardioid mode, cardioid plus or whisper mode is what they call it, and a stereo mode. There is no kind of the, the mode that picks up from the back, so you can't really do interviews with it. It's not an interviewing microphone. It's very specific to kind of a frontal positioning microphone. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So if you're looking for something that's going to be able to kind of be a little bit more useful in other scenarios, this may not be the one for you, but if you're specifically streaming, you're putting it on a boom, you're always using it in the same position. This microphone definitely handles your needs. So now let me do a little bit of testing because I want to show you the stereo mode, the cardio mode, and specifically the whisper mode, which I think is very impressive and you'll hear it uh, right now. All right, guys, so this is the audio coming from the Rocat Torch itself. Now, it is sitting on my desk directly in front of me. It's about 12 to 14 inches from my mouth, okay? Um, it is currently in the cardioid mode, okay? This is, this is the mode that kind of picks up from the front of the microphone. Um, this is not the cardioid plus mode, which is the whisper mode. Um, that mode is designed for when you're, you're designing when you want to be quiet and you still want to be heard. Um, I'll switch it over to that one in just a second. But this is the standard cardioid mode. This is the mode that most people would use. Um, they do have a stereo mode as well, uh, which will give you kind of will pick up more sound kind of around the area, especially if you're doing like ASMR, if that's something you're into, um, or you're doing music, you want to pick up more sound in the room and have that stereo effect. That's what that is. This is the cardioid mode. This is what you're gonna be using again for streaming, broadcasting, recording, things like that. So that's this mode. Now let me switch it over to the whisper mode and then I will be really quiet and we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so now I've switched it over to the whisper mode. Now I am speaking significantly quieter as if I was trying to be quiet in a room. 
So I haven't moved at all. My position is still exactly the same, but I have definitely lowered my, my voice volume to see kind of what this picks up. Now, this is supposed to be giving you, even though I'm supposed to be quieter because maybe I want to be quiet. Maybe it's nighttime. I'm gaming. I don't want to make a big fuss or there's people in the room and I don't want to interrupt them, but I still need to be heard by my team. I would switch it into this mode and that is what this mode is picking up. So that's what that sounds like. Now I'm going to switch it over to the stereo mode and then do another sound recording here. Okay, so now I've switched it over to the stereo mode. Now this is the mode that is going to be picking up a stereo signature. So I should be able to be heard kind of over on this side. And then I'm gonna switch over to this side here. And that's where you're gonna kind of get the stereo sound um, instead of as, this, as opposed to the cardioid. So those are the three different modes on this microphone and the uh, quality and abilities of each. So there you go. So as you guys could hear, the stereo mode it works pretty good. I feel like it needs a little bit more separation. Um, I could have probably gotten a little bit farther to the left and farther to the right to kind of give you that stereo mode. It works well enough. I keep it almost exclusively in the cardioid mode. Um, that's just because I keep it in the same spot. I use it for the same purposes and it kind of works. The whisper mode, that's the one that I think people should be really paying attention to when they're looking at this microphone because I feel like it does a very good job of what it is designed to do. And so again, just a quick recap, Whisper mode is designed to do the exact same cardioid pattern that the standard cardioid mode does. However, if you noticed in that last little section, when I reduced my volume, now I went from talking like I am right now to talking like this, and it actually was slightly louder in the whisper mode, which is so impressive. So if you're a person that is streaming at night, you're trying to be quiet, um, you know, there's maybe kids in the other room, somebody on the other side of the room, somebody in the room, that is a great, great feature, and they executed it very, very well. Now, outside of the the only issue that I really had with this, outside of that kind of that 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 motion sensitive kind of mute unmute feature, outside of that, if you take design, feature set, quality, and and just the you know when you kind of consider price point, I would say that the Rocat Torch is definitely a very competitive microphone in that USB kind of streaming, recording, voice recording kind of space. Um, I, you know, I think they've done a great job with it. Rocat has, once again has shown that they can make really high quality products and still kind of come in just a little bit better pricing than their direct competitors. But as usual, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the microphone, what do you, how do you think it looks, what do you think of the features, how, what do you think of the sound quality, specifically that whisper mode, I think that is a big selling point that are not any of the other competitors are really playing at. They're not really trying to, to attain that. That's a very unique feature from what I've seen so far. But I am curious to hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment section below. I try to reply to as many comments as I possibly can. But guys, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video and checking out the Rocat Torch. But that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next review.